Hey guys, it's me again, and um, I'm going to be showing you Windows XP running on an actual machine. I'm currently running Windows XP on a HP Pavilion A450N, and the specifications of the machine is a Intel Pentium 4 processor with hyper-threading technology at 3 GHz. It has 1.5, actually a half a gig of DDR RAM, which the maximum support can be 2 gigabytes. It has a 160 gigabyte IDE hard drive at 7200 RPMs, and it has a NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200, also with a DVI support, and 128 megabytes of video memory. But let's move on, shall we? I'm going to show you a little bit of it in system properties. I actually have Windows XP running. As you sh uh, like I'm showing you, it's, it has Service Pack 3, which is the latest Service Pack you can use on Windows XP to keep Windows XP supported until 2014. But all the other Service Packs are no longer supported. It'd be a dumb idea to use Service Pack 2 on the internet. So, really. Here's the um, 3 gigahertz Pentium 4, which I mentioned earlier, and the half a gig of RAM. I'm going to show you that I have all the drivers installed on this thing. No yellow explanation marks. And this machine's still going strong, from even though it's a computer from 2004. But who cares what year it's from? At least... Uh, at least I'm showing you what what I'm currently running on the machine and I'm actually using a widescreen monitor for this computer it's a with the with the Nvidia GeForce FX 5200 at 1360 by 78 pixels and I'm going to show you the hard drive And the other part, other half of the hard drive is being used as the recovery partition that came with the machine. So, let's move on to the Internet browsers. Starting off with Internet Explorer, what I want to mention, the latest version of Internet Explorer you can use is 8. You can't go no higher than Internet Explorer 8 on Windows XP, but if you want a, a newer version of Internet Explorer, if you want Internet Explorer, if you have Windows Vista, the latest you can go on it is Internet Explorer 9. And Internet Explorer 9 right now is the current version, but after the, when this video is going to be out for a while, it's going to Internet Explorer 10 is going to be out by then, which is going to be also the also a newer ver the newest version for Windows 7, already the newest version for Windows 8. It always, it always, it actually does come with Windows 8. So, why bother with Internet Explorer? But who uses Internet Explorer anyway? I don't. No one hardly ever uses Internet Explorer anymore. The only places that you may pe see people use Internet Explorer is people that don't know much about their computers or are at the business. So let's move on. And you can, if you're wondering what other browsers you can install on Windows XP. Can you install Firefox? Can you install Chrome? Can you install Opera? Well, of course. I have Firefox installed already on this machine because that's a, a popular browser, also known as an award-winning internet browser. And it, I actually got Adblock Plus installed, and I'm using the recent version of Mozilla Firefox. And it is version 18.02. So let's go ahead and move on. And for media players, you can even use Windows Media Player. You have a choice of VLC Media Player or iTunes. And I'm going to show you Windows Media Player. And the latest version of Windows Media Player you can use is actually Media Player 11. That's the actually actually the latest version for Windows XP and Vista. But if you want Media Player 12, you'd have to have Windows 7 or Windows 8. 
because you can't go no higher than Media Player 11. But if you're using, if you want to install Media Player 11 on Windows XP, you'd have to have your copy. Make sure your copy is is able to pass Windows Genuine Advantage, known as WGA, and because around the installation is going to actually to validate your copy of Windows, but there are ways that pirates can get around to that, to the Windows Media Player installer, and modify it where it'll be able to pass a pirated version of XP. So let's go ahead and move on. And I'm gonna, we're gonna put the Media Players on on the side right now, and I'm gonna show you some Office software that actually can be supported on Windows XP. The, the latest version of Microsoft Office for Windows XP you can use is Office 2010 and this is the professional edition like I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys what, what it all comes with it says it right there like I'm and it's actually activated so who cares about if it's activated or not at least I'm showing it for demonstrations. I'm gonna show you that we got iTunes installed. I got iTunes installed on this machine, and I'm using the most recent version. I'm not sure if it's the recent or not, because they've been changing up versions of iTunes. This is version 11. So let's get on out of there. You can use other progr good programs like. A vast free antivirus or any antivirus of choice, but a vast free antivirus is the best choice to use. You got C Cleaner, you got AsLogic's Disk Defrag, which is a good choice. You got WinZip, you got Malware Bytes, Anti Malware you can use. And I'm also recording with Camtasia Studio 5 because it handles this computer better. I even got Team Viewer version 8, which is able to work with Windows XP with no problems. I even got software for the Canon printer. And we even got I even got Windows Live Essentials installed, which I got from via Windows Update from the optional updates. When I ran Windows Update on this machine, it even comes with all the standard Windows Live programs. And speaking of Windows Live Messenger, no one it's getting at the point where no one's hardly using it. It's not only being replaced with Skype. So anybody with Windows Live Messenger accounts will ha end up being forced to switch over to Skype. But some people already got Skype anyway, Skype accounts already cuz a lot of people are able to use their webcams and microphones. You could still do that with Windows XP, run Skype with a I even got Microsoft Works 2004. And I even got Plus for XP installed. And if you're wondering if you can install other like custom themes to replace like if you don't like Luna, you can install themes like the Royale, the Zune theme, Royale Remix known as the Royal Noir, or the Plus for XP themes, or the Embedded theme. So, let me show you what they all look like. By the way, well, didn't want to leave. Get out of it. Show you a little preview. And this one usually comes with Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005. And this uh, is also a beta version of the Zoom theme. This one comes with Windows Embedded 2009. And those four came with Plus for XP. And you even got the good old Windows Classic if you like that Windows 2000 feel. And you can even change the way your start menu looks on Windows XP if you want the Classic. And you can even change the way how XP logs in. Yeah, and this is my look. And you can even use Adobe Reader 11, 
can use info recorder on CD rewritable drives. I'm going to show you a vast free antivirus. Yeah, and this is the most recent version of Avast. So, anyway, that's just a little to small little tour of Windows XP running on an actual machine. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. Bye.